Hi everyone, this is Kristen and this is Simply Sketching and today we are going to sketch a rose. I'm using just a pencil and a spiral sketchbook. So let's get started. Uh, to start our rose, we are going to draw a circle the size of the rose you want. I'm not going to make mine huge, just a nice circle. I am drawing a little darker, that way you guys can see it, but you guys do not have to draw this dark. Uh, it will make it hard to erase your lines later. On top of your circle, we're gonna draw an ellipse, which is like a very skinny oval. I'll show that. Just like that. And then we're going to connect the ellipse to our circle using two curved lines, one on either side, like that. Now we're gonna get ready to do our petals. And I'm just gonna do two curved lines that come out from either side and I'm going to connect them to the bottom of my rose, like that. <laughs> now one petal I'm gonna leave so it looks like it's going behind the bud. The other petal, I'm going to just kind of drop another curved line down so it hits the middle. And this is the point where if you want to, you can go ahead and erase the lines that obviously wouldn't be there normally, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave them so you can kind of see what I've done through each step. Now for the top of the rose to make the bud, we're gonna do a maneuver I call the curly cue, and I will show you what that looks like. Uh, think of a snail shell, where you just kind of draw something like that in. And we're gonna do that on the top, uh, a little off center. You don't want it to be perfectly in the center. And just draw a little one, and that'll be the bud of your rose. And then after you draw that, I don't want your rose to look like it's completely closed in. So I want you to erase just a little side of it. And I'll show you that here in just a second as soon as I get done. And then starting from your curly cue, you're gonna trace back along the ellipse and stop before you connect it. And then drop it down like it's just the back side of your little rose. Kind of like that. You can see where I've dropped the two sides down and I've erased a portion of the ellipse. And that just makes it look like your bud has a couple more petals going back behind there. Now we're gonna draw the stem and the stem can be however big or skinny you want it. I usually just start in the middle of the flower with a line going however far down I want and then I just double it. Now stems usually get wider as you go down. So mine's just like that. Again, this is just sketching. You can sketch it however you want, however big you want, however short you want. Um, if you want to add more roses in, go ahead. And we're going to add some leaves. So I just want two leaves on mine. So to start, I am going to draw two angled lines coming out of the stem. One high and one low. And then I'm going to add my leaves to that. Now, the leaves I'm going to do are just curved leaves. They're going to curve and come to a point. And then I'm going to do the other side. Curve and come to a point. They look like little tiny teardrops. And I'm gonna do that with the other one down low. I'm gonna curve it and come to a point, curve it and come to a point. And then that first line I drew, I'm just gonna extend it up towards the point a little farther, just like that. Now all roses have thorns. So when you're done with the leaves, you can go down the stem and you can add a couple thorns in, which again, thorns, you can curve with a straight line, I'll, I'll show you one bigger. So a curve with a straight line, and then it attaches to the base. It kind of looks like a, like a shark tooth. Or if you have another way to draw one, you know, by all means draw that. Uh, when you're all done here, you can shade the leaves in if you want. I would shade most of mine in. I'm gonna do one, but you're not gonna be able to see it very well because of how light it is but go ahead and shade it. Take your time, shade this in uh, at the base of the rose. I'm just gonna add a cute little detail that makes it look like it's attached to the stem. And that's it. When you're done, you can color it, you can play around, you can make them bigger, make them smaller, make a whole bouquet out of them. Hope you enjoyed, thank you.